Trinidad and Tobago is overdue for an earthquake which can be even bigger than that of Haiti's, which claimed over 220,000 lives and injured 300,000 people, not to mention misplacing 3 million people. If this happens, our experts say that because 90% of our homes are not built to a building code, buildings will collapse. Scientists expect the impact of the quake in Haiti to spread throughout the fault line in the Caribbean. Earthquakes of magnitude 7 happen in this region about every 20 years or so. The ground shakes and you wonder, what was that? The shaking that you'd feel would feel like if it went on forever. You'd feel like if the ground is shaking and you can't stand up for a long time because what happens with the shaking is larger and also the, um, the, the length duration of that wave is longer. It's a very frightening thing. I will not be surprised that should there be a magnitude 8 earthquake close to Trinidad or on land in Trinidad, that at least three quarters of the housing structures will be completely destroyed. Expect our larger earthquake-proof engineered buildings such as the Twin Towers, the Hyatt and the Prime Minister's house to survive. But many of our older buildings will collapse. The, the buildings, you know, which are built with those um, unreinforced clay bricks, you know, a lot of the areas, you know, and, the, and if you're thinking of Port of Spain again, you know, the, the hillside at, at Mova Lava until those areas where you may have weaker structures, we'd expect to see a lot of damage from them. In the west, we would see major damage on the reclaimed lands of West Moorings and the hills of Goodwood Park. Given that they were built without a building code, older public buildings like our Port of Spain General Hospital and the San Fernando Hospital, our top schools, St. Joseph's Convent, St. Augustine Girls, Presentation College would crumble. We could be worse off than Haiti as our major industrial areas in Point Lisas, Point Pierre, and Point Fortin will turn explosive. There will be a lot of fires, there will be gas explosions, and there will be escape cases so people will die. It's a very bleak picture. Um, in terms of death, it depends for instance on whether or not the event occurs in the daytime when most people are not at home or at night time. But off the top of my head I'm thinking 30,000. People now because of what they've seen in Haiti will be most concerned about the burial factor. One of the reasons that happened in Haiti is because most of the structures were built very badly. That the troops would have to shoot people and that people come down and loot and burn. But those are, those are major concerns. And I don't know that we can say now that there'll be no looting at all if situation can happen. People grab for food. Whenever it takes place, an earthquake of seven and above, which is expected, there will be chaos not dissimilar to what we saw in Haiti. When it comes to earthquakes, God, it appears, may have other things to do other than be a Trinidadian. Join me tomorrow night when we find out the impact of a Category 3 hurricane like Ivan, which brought Grenada to its knees. I'm Ira Mathur with a special report for CNC3 News.